Hi, welcome to the self-learning series for Control-M workload automation products. My name is James Pendergrast and I am a technical support analyst for Control-M distributed systems. This is a series of self-learning videos that are designed to help you with your day-to-day -day task with Control-M. The title of today's video is Managing AFT Accounts in Control-M. The CM for AFT is an FTP client that is used to transfer files to and from an FTP server. The information needed to connect for a file transfer is managed from the Control-M Configuration Manager, or CCM, providing a single point to manage all the information. The information is stored in a named account, which the jobs are able to access. Let's start out in the CCM. For each CM that is on an agent, there will be an entry in the CCM. So select the agent that you'd like to run these jobs on, or set up this information on, select the CM for file trans, right click, do account management, and you'll get a list of accounts that are on this agent that are already set up. The main screen shows just basic information, host one, user one, host two, user two, and the account name. Let's look at the account that's in here a little deeper, double click on it. Uh, we can see that this is a local CM, which means it's going to use the local agent CM and not log into an FTP server on this host. Uh, it's Unix based, username, password, and the home directory. We are just using FTP protocol and not SFTP. For host 2, we're actually going to connect to a machine. It is a Unix type, port 21. We do need the port if we're going to connect to an FTP server with our FTP client username and password and home directory and once again it's just a plain FTP connection it's not SFTP go to our authorizations and this is a list of the control M users who can access this account that's very important because if your user does not have access to this account from the desktop and from the agent machine you can't see these particular accounts additional settings if you need them verify destination file size uh, it is recommended to leave that on unless you have an FTP server that does not respond with an appropriate file size. So we'll go back to the host one and we'll test the account. And what test account does is it actually goes in and attempts a login to both machines. So the verification is exceeded. If we change the password, we should run a test just to make sure that the, the password is valid validation failed host one unable to locate local user on host so we'll put our password correct the password test again so if you cannot connect to the local host or the remote host it'll typically say user or or user not found or password is invalid so now we will save this hit OK and it will actually save it to the control M agent. So account has been updated on the agent machine. To add a new account, simply hit the green plus bar, give it a name, give it all of the accounts that can access this account, uh, pick what kind of account it, it is, And a quick test that you can do once you have the username and password in is click get home directory and it will attempt to log into this machine and get the home directory back. That was successful. So set up host two details. And once again, we'll do a quick test of get home directory. That was successful. Uh, here's where you would set up any of the FTP SSL or SFTP, which is SSH. So now that our account information is there, we'll hit test and we'll validate our account. It is successful. We click finish here. It will write that information onto the agent configuration file. And that's the basics of editing and changing and adding new accounts in the CCM. Let us now look at setting up the job using the Control-M AFT account information. We will create a new job. 
job OS type is going to be AFT. We now have a file trends tab. If the agent that you're using is not the default agent, then you'll need to go to the execution tab, select an agent, and you can come back to the file trends and select the load. It's going to load the account information from either the default agent, if none is selected, or the agent that you have named. We have two accounts here that we can use. We'll choose the tester account, which we just set up. If there's additional information for the transfer that needs to be uh, installed, such as PGP, select the Advanced tab, go to Commands, and you can enable PGP encryption and put the template name and information here. If File Watcher was chosen, this is where you could change the default time limits and information for the File Watcher. If you would like to use a GUI to select the specific file name or files to transfer, select this option and this will log you into both machines at which point you can use the GUI to select the files or set of files for the transfer.